we're going to be using this technique first with open chords because it's a little different technique to do with bar chords. We're going to be using, in order to do this, you're going to be using this part, and I'll just take you on a close-up of this with the other camera, of your fret hand to actually be muting the strings as you're coming down with a down strum. At first, when we use this, and later down the line, we'll get more sophisticated with it, maybe use it on upstrokes, but you're going to be doing this on a downstroke. And the sound you're going to be getting is going to be sounding like this. Notice you don't hear open strings ring, or if I do it with a chord, or if I do it with a strum, you hear that? That muted accent where I'm putting it in, where I'm placing it, um, is where we're going to be creative and where you're going to be creative. But that technique, it's going to take a little while to get down. Um, and I want to just tell you up front, it's not going to sound totally spot dead on at first. Like a lot of different techniques we're going over in this series, you know, it takes a little while. This is chucking with open chords. So I'm using, and you can see it in a tight shot, this part of my hand to come down on the strings at the same time as I'm chucking, as I'm running the pick down the string. So it's like one motion. So this is what you want to get good at. Now notice I'm not going to put my other hand on the string so you could hear how this is. And now this sound, like I was saying, is going to be an evolution. It's going to take you a while to get this. At first it might not sound this good or as good or even good period, um, um, but it's going to take a little bit and give it some time, but you will get it. And it's an evolution. And at first just practice with one hand and you want to come down the strings and at the same time make it like you're throwing that hand in there and really try to accent it. I have a little reverb on the amp just to fill the sound up, but that's the sound. That's the motion. I'm going to turn a little bit more. We'll go full screen on the other camera. You could see that hand being thrown down. The next exercise I would suggest doing is once you get this, where you're muting and strumming at the same time, one hit, bam! And like, remember, the chuck is something where you got to go for it. You can't be like, eh, maybe I'll do it, I'll do it a little bit. No, it's, it's a very strong accent to get going at first. And then later on, we can um, use it dynamically as far as maybe do it a little softer, do it a little louder. But at first, you know, really go for it to get it down, you know. First learn run, then learn fly, then we can play with it later. So the next thing I would say is finger a G major chord. And then you're just going to go down stroke and then a down chuck. And with most of your chucking at first, you're going to be doing all these chucks on the down stroke, on a down. You know, later on we get to bar chords, we'll start to chuck on the ups or when you get more sophisticated. But it's always going to be like a DC will be the text that I'll put up on the screen in the strum pattern, which I'll also put the patterns up, but you'll see DC and that'll mean down chuck, down chuck. So on a G chord, just go like a, a down and then a chuck, down chuck, so G. And that's the sound you want to get. Notice it kills the chord entirely. So you hear this chord ring and the chuck. Now if you do your chuck, See, and you still hear strings ringing. That's probably what you're going to have at first. See, you hear that ringing. See, I'm missing. That means you're missing some of the strings when you come down with this pick hand. You're not getting them all. And uh, that's what usually happens. Or a lot of times you might hear this. And that is you're not throwing the right hand in hard enough. That's some common mistakes that I see students do with the chucking. Okay, so once you get this down, down, chuck with the kill, it should be killing everything, and the chuck should be strong, then let's try it with a strum pattern. Let's use an easy strum pattern, something like an uh, eighth note feel like down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Real eighth note feel. I'm still fingering a G major chord. Let's insert a chuck into that strum 
at the second downstroke. And I'll write this out in text for you. So it'll be down, down, chuck, up, up, down, up. So we're just doing one chuck in that pattern, the second one. This chucking is going to add so much interest and fun and uh, to your to, and rhythmic accenting to your playing. It's so critical, you know, especially on acoustic guitar, that you get good at this chucking. And eventually you're going to blast it across all your playing. You'll be so amazed once you get comfortable with it. So we're going to go down, chuck, up, up, down, up. Right? And then we're going to keep rolling that. All right, so it'll sound like this. I'm going to do it really slow. get that then try to do that same exact thing except this time let's do it with some chord changes okay so we'll go G E minor C and D two measures on each chord with that same down chuck up up down up so here we go two three four Practice that with some other progressions, you know, like C, E minor, A minor, G, maybe something like that. Two, three, four. strum pattern down down chuck up up down up let's add another chuck to that so we're gonna go down down chuck up up down chuck again okay and roll it through those chord changes G E minor C D with that same strum pattern see how you're building on each thing that you do you're learning and then you're applying it two three four We're gonna do a down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up. So we're gonna take that strum and we're gonna add two chucks to it. Now, where I'm adding the chucks, I mean, you could add the chuck on any downstroke at first, and you want to get creative. I'm just giving you like a jump-off point. Down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, up, down, up, chuck, up, up, chuck, right? And then once you get that, do it with your chord changes. Two, three, four. draws people in to your stuff is melody and rhythm right and the groove that's what grabs people gets their head bopping you know gets them into it and like man that's a cool little thing they got going there what are they gonna do with that next right that's what you want to get to that point so you know it's kind of like you know I'm teaching you techniques but you know I want you to employ these creatively throughout all your playing and we're talking a lot in this series about acoustic guitar and these are the techniques really really critical for acoustic to make this acoustic come alive so remember use it don't abuse it don't you know don't have this really crazy rhythmic wild thing with zillions of things happening while the singers trying to sing because you're going to be stepping on their toes but you got to kind of weave it in there or maybe build it for the chorus or build some dynamics through the song right 
you could do so much, it's kind of limitless, you know. So we're just getting you going, getting you springboarding. So get this chucking down. Remember, it's going to be an evolution. It's not going to sound perfect right off the bat, you know, but you can do it. Stay positive, and we'll see you in the next lesson. Rock on.